And it's also bringing a lot of revenue in terms of uh, tourists coming in and stuff. Because when we leave here to go to St. Lucia, we have Grenadians going, we have the Vincentians, we have the Dominicans, we have the um, the St. Kitts, Martinique. We have basically half the Caribbean heads for these, to these countries to participate um, in the various activities in these countries and the country does be burst with people. The tourism in those countries at that time does be so packed that it's unbelievable that Barbados does not cash in on that, right? And it, and it does rare that I see that the talent that we have here could be taken here and beyond. As a club, we were actually trying to find an uh, entity that would be able to invest in just like how the skate park was created at a gymnasium. We were actually like a, a park where the bikers could go and do their stunts, have, you know, because this is not just um, in Barbados, you know, we have international writers, we have Sergio and we have Elsman that travel as myself and Bird and stuff that travel to represent Barbados mm -hmm. in various parts of the bike life. Drag, stunts, you know, mm -hmm. um, motor racing and stuff, it's actually we leaving the four team to to represent Barbados in drags and the uh, the motor racing shows and that sort of stuff. So is is a is also a way that people could use their talent to take it overseas and beyond. So if we can have a person or persons that could come on board and you know provide that space, it's not everyone that is going to be uh, going or want to be in that space. So it's still a lot of people that just still want to be on the streets and doing stuff. But if we could get the majority of persons in a more controlled environment, it would make it better for the roads.